Hi guys, welcome to Android Guider. So a beta build of Lineage OS 16.0 was released just a few hours back for the Poco F1 and I have been using this build since and there are only a couple of changes and the major one here is the option to hide the notch in the developer options. In fact, this is the very reason that I wanted that I'm making this video. I wanted to show you guys on how the notch gets hidden and then how the phone looks like. Then there's an option to place the clock in the center when uh, the notch is hidden and then there are uh, performance improvements and uh, upstream changes from uh, the uh, lineage repository all right uh, so i'll be having uh, the link of the xda thread and uh, everything right below in the description box and in the end of the video i will uh, quickly show you on uh, how you can uh, go about uh, installing the rom all right uh, so right off the bat we will uh, get into the settings and uh, uh, to have to, to be able to see that uh, option for hiding the notch you must have uh, developer options enabled and uh, you can do that by going to about phone and uh, then uh, tap on the build number uh, seven times and uh, then you will uh, have that option and uh, then you can just simply search for notch all right and uh, then you will get that uh, option it's uh, actually present under uh, yeah it's present under drawing settings uh, under the drawing sub menu in uh, the developer options and uh, when you tap on simulator display with the cutout and when you choose hide yeah so this is how the phone looks like now personally i find the notch to be really intruding and uh, that's because when uh, the notch is enabled uh, you can see that uh, there can be at most three or uh, maybe four notification icons in the status bar and uh, in hurio based roms uh, that was even less i think uh, uh, that they can be at most two icons and that's the case in miui2 uh, yeah so i was always looking for an option in which uh, the status bar would be moved right below the notch and uh, this is what uh, lineage os exactly does uh, earlier today arrow os based uh, pi was also released and uh, in that build the status bar uh, is blacked out there is an option for hiding the notch and uh, when you enable that then uh, the status bar is blacked out but uh, uh, in lineage os what we have is the uh, status bar is moved right below the notch so uh, if that is something uh, that you wanted then uh, do check out lineage os and uh, uh, there are not a lot of changes as i have already covered up so i will quickly go ahead and uh, show you guys uh, the different features that we have uh, so these are uh, the app set uh, nothing has changed in here uh, since uh, the last build uh, the network and internet options all that stuff remains the same i will quickly go to display and uh, you have got uh, night light is present in there and uh, styles uh, sleep timeouts the maximum limit is 30 minutes uh, then you can configure the font size display size expanded desktop and uh, if you want any app to use uh, the full screen space then uh, there is an option for that too you can enable or disable apps from in here uh, but note that uh, this option uh, i have found this option to be available only for uh, the system apps uh, I, I installed a couple of uh, third party apps too and uh, this option uh, wasn't uh, working for uh, the third party apps all right uh, then we have uh, the double tap to wake double tap on the status bar to sleep and wake on plug uh, there are ambient display settings too uh, if you just want to quickly have a look at them yeah and you get those standard set of gestures sound settings you have got uh, the volume configurations uh, then uh, you can uh, uh, configure the ringtones uh, and then in other sounds we have got dial pad tones screen locking sounds charging sounds uh, and uh, touch vibration and touch sounds lastly we have got uh, the uh, system settings and uh, herein you will uh, find uh, the button configurations and when i open that uh, you have an option to show the arrow keys while typing and under uh, buttons and layout you can uh, configure uh, the layout of the navigation bar uh, there are a couple of options for uh, the navigation layout normal uh, this is the compact style or uh, this is the left leaning style and uh, this option uh, the left leaning uh, style for that uh, uh, you must have uh, the extra left button type set to as none and uh, talking about that uh, you can now see that we have the left leaning uh, uh, navigation bar and this is the right leaning one and uh, if uh, you choose to have an extra left button type uh, then uh, there are a couple of options clipboard key code and uh, rotate confirm and uh, keyboard switcher they are pretty much uh, self explanatory and uh, when you have either uh, the normal or uh, the compact style then uh, you can uh, set uh, the extra uh, button type for both the left side as well as the right side
all right and then if you want to invert the layout of uh, the navigation keys then uh, there is an option for that too uh, you have got uh, long press double tap and uh, long press actions for uh, uh, the different navigation keys um and uh, these are uh, the list of actions that you get moving on uh, power menu settings uh, you get a couple of options here too airplane mode lockdown and uh, when all the options are enabled uh, this is how the power menu looks like yeah and uh, then there is an option to use the power key to cut the call long press for to uh, trigger the torch and uh, you can uh, set a timeout limit as well volume keys uh, wake the device answer the call control uh, media playback keyboard cursor control is there and uh, reorient the volume keys uh, when the device is rotated advanced uh, status bar and uh, this is here uh, the uh, center clock position should be present and uh, as i told you that uh, is uh, a valid uh, that option will be shown only be shown when uh, the uh, developer uh, when uh, the notch is hidden so i'll quickly just do that um, all right so Yeah, and uh, now the center clock option is also shown. Quick pull down is there uh, system icons? You can enable or disable a bunch of them. Then uh, uh, you can show the second, the NPM style, uh, battery status style. Uh, these are the options that we have. Battery percentage that can be shown inside or uh, next to the icon. And then uh, we have got a bunch of uh, settings for brightness slider, auto brightness, and brightness control. Next, uh, we have got uh, gestures. So if you want to use uh, the gestures that we have in Android P, uh, then there's an option for that. Basically, you will get uh, this pill shaped icon. And uh, if you uh, if you do a quick swipe, then you will get uh, to the recent section. And uh, if you do uh, another swipe, uh, then you will be able to uh, see the app door. All right, so I'll just do a quick swipe. I am pretty bad at it. So yeah, uh, that's what we have. I will just go back to the normal style and uh, then if you want uh, to prevent the ringing then uh, you can uh, uh, press the power and the volume up together and uh, that will uh, set uh, that will turn on uh, vibration mode all right and uh, but uh, just to show that uh, you don't press uh, both the power and the volume up key together for long because uh, then you will uh, end up entering uh, in then you will end, end up booting into the recovery mode all right so uh, yeah that's all that we have uh, in uh, Lineage OS 16 uh, in this beta build of 16.0. Uh, when uh, the stable version of uh, Lineage OS 16 uh, comes out, I will make sure to have a complete review out for that as well. And uh, when uh, successive beta builds are released, uh, I will be uh, posting reviews for uh, that as well. Uh, the installation procedure is uh, pretty simple. All you have to do is uh, just open up, uh, uh, just boot back into TWRP, and uh, you can do that by uh, switching off your device and then uh, pressing the volume down volume up and uh, the power button simultaneously or you can uh, simply use uh, the advanced reboot menu if you have a rom that supports that and uh, once you are into twrp uh, as i have already told you i will be having all the requisite links right below in the description box so i'll just quickly tone down the exposure so that uh, things are better visible All right, so uh, once you are into TWRP, uh, you have to just quickly go to wipe, advanced wipe, dial with cache system data. Uh, just select uh, those four and wipe, then go back. And next you have to go to install and uh, then uh, select uh, the uh, lineage beta. And uh, if you are uh, uh, flashing G apps, then uh, select uh, the G apps package as well. I'm uh, personally using uh, the Open G apps uh, nano package, and uh, Face Unlock is uh, there in uh, the nano package if you want to uh, if you want to know about that. So if you are using uh, Open G apps, then uh, choose any package above nano, or uh, uh, nano will work as well if you want Face Unlock. And uh, uh, once the flashing is over, you will uh, simply have to reboot the system. And uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, the flashing procedure. And guys, I'll be having all uh, the links uh, down below in the description box, the lineage beta, 
the TWRP recovery that I used and uh, the TWRP build that I used uh, uh, in that build uh, the SD cards are detected so if you use expandable storage and if you want to store uh, the lineage beta and the G apps in that then uh, this recovery build will uh, work for you so uh, yeah all the requisite links will be right below there in the description box and yeah uh, and another thing uh, worth mentioning here is that uh, if you choose uh, to just uh, flash the ROM without the G apps then uh, uh, there will be a couple of times uh, then uh, the ROM will uh, uh, reboot a couple of times before you get to that startup screen uh, in my case uh, it uh, booted for about uh, four or five times before I got to that startup screen uh, just wait if you flash uh, the ROM uh, without the G apps might uh, reboot for a couple of times but uh, then you will get to the startup screen ultimately so thanks a lot for watching have a nice day take care and uh, i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace